welcome back. Unfortunately, this is my second attempt at this video. Uh, because I, uh, yep, I'm still doing it too. Um, let's see here. There it is. Because I started playing, and at some point, I guess my. Rally round! Uh, at some point, I guess my headphone cord, like, which I usually uh, place a, uh, between my number pad and some other keys uh, to just keep it organized between my mouse and my other hand, um, must have tapped uh, one of the numbers I have on the number pad that's a uh, shortcut for uh, pause the video <laughs> in, in my capture software. And it paused at some point. At about 20 minutes in, it paused. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. And, um... I was like 40, 50 minutes into the video and realized I'd lost the last 20, I didn't have the last 20 minutes recorded. So I just stopped playing and shut it off. <laughs> it's been like two days. So Stand this by, shore video. party. Decontamination gonna, in progress. Uh, we're gonna break the usual Log. sequence that I do things. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. I don't think I've ever done Vermeer early. Um, it unlocks after you do two of the three quests of Pharaoh's Novaria and Liar's Dig Site. And um, now I'm just curious as to the effects um, of what doing Vermeyer will do to potential dialogue and uh, things that are said or happen or, you know, new knowledge is gained to the characters in, on Vermeer. Um, what would happen at each of the three starting missions that you choose to delay until after um, Vermeer? Now, I feel like I need to do all three of those. <laughs> Gotta run this game three more times to see if uh, stuff changes in any of those missions, or dia dialogue is added or otherwise. Uh, who, what are we doing here? We're doing... Yeah, we'll do this. Uh, we'll do this. Shotgun squad. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infiltration team. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. You've got a clean drop, Commander. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. Alright, so... Uh, just a little recap. Vermeyer is... Uh, we got a message from the council after our last mission. They contacted us. Um, they contacted us on the Norman in the Normandy's uh, uh, communications room, I guess, uh, and um, told us that they got a signal from one of their infiltration units, uh, but it was nothing more than static. But it was an infiltration unit that was investigating Saren. And uh, if they try, they, uh, they couldn't hear what the message said, but the message came through on a secured channel that is normally only used, how about this? Is normally only used for, uh, oh my God, went right through it. It's normally only used for emergency communications. So just based on the channel it came through, they assumed that something pretty big must be going on. Um, told us about it and said we could check it out. Um, but like I said, normally I just wait until... Oh, you're a flyer. Normally I just wait until uh, 
after I complete the first three missions, because I'm usually a completionist and I do things in order. So now we're going to see what assaulting Saren's base here on Vermeer does differently. There's like a dude uh, there. I missed again. Rockets in their hitboxes. Okay, that one hit finally. Uh, my shield's still doing pretty good. These guys don't do a lot of damage. Good night. There's still one around here somewhere. I'm still jammed. Radar is still jammed. There's nothing that needs doing at this site. I don't believe so. Save some time. Don't need to kill these. But I did find out that I can do this. Oh! Another one shot me. Are you kidding me? Alright, gonna have to pause this, get back to this point. I didn't know there was another one in range. And we're back. Okay. sniped us. That's crazy. Unfortunately, uh, these last two will seriously, like, do some damage. And they'll, like, while I'm doing this next thing around the bend, they'll come walking around and start shooting, you know, for, there we go, and start lobbing, uh, <clears throat> artillery at us, and if I get, of course, you know, you, you saw what happened, if I get smacked by a stray one of those, it's just game over. I got snipers behind me, so I can't let, I can't be in line of sight of snipers, I can't, okay. recording so I don't lose any more time. Oh, you didn't die. Alright. Cool, cool. Alright. Now this one, I have to actually do something now. That's a big gun. Hope we can find the off button. What? Miss? Oh, good. I wanted him down in there. I actually shoot. Do I not have... Oh! Goodness gracious. Rex, this high explosive round stuff, not working out for me. Let's make sure you get slow chamber. Oh, cool. Tali? Um, you also have. Oh, you have high explosive as well. No, you're, wearing, you're doing slow chamber, but let's give you slow chamber 10, why don't we? Um, I think 
think I just want to I love a scram rail 10, I got a scram rail 10, and then I was doing, I tried these, not polonium, I tried proton round 7, and they were shredding these dudes. Oh, Tali's got 3 points, whatever will I do with you? Uh, give me more shield capacity or give you more shield capacity? What was this, an extra hull and damage, okay, I don't, there's not much to do for you. I mean, where machinist it is, zero, can I get a point? No, it's just Tali. Like, just blazes through him. Also has a cool sound. Generator still active, gate override offline. I'm reading that the grid is down, Commander. On approach to the Solarian base now. Alco gate's open. Ready yeah, to go, Shepard. You have to hit it twice. And um, it's almost nice that <laughs> I'm running this again because I hit it, it did something, and I was like, okay, uh, got the gates. And so I ran all the way down there back to uh, the Mako and didn't get anything. It's like, is a Stinger 10 any good, I wonder? No, it's not. Stinger 2 is really nice. Stinger 10 is not. Hmm. There aren't 10 whole ranks of every kind of weapon, just uh, for those of you who care about the distinction. There goes the Normandy. Um. Some weapons only get to a certain level, like they only have up to level 5 of a certain weapon, and then there's just no more. Other weapons don't start until higher levels, like you won't see any of the Russian weapons until like level 7, I think? charge vehicle That's gates it. open all right nothing between us and the solarian camp now I'm trying to see your face so i can see if you're talking let's get moving yeah you're right you see that shield just like disappeared in the frame that i zoomed in interesting volcom 10 It's so funny now that, like, it's it's clear that the makers of this game were still... Because this is... I'm recording this in, like, a post. Tally's been stuck down here between the Mako tires the entire time. Good job. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tally, what kind of... What, okay, you're wearing Mercenary 7. That's not too bad. I'm pretty sad, because, like, the first time I did this run... Uh, medium Krogan Colossus armor dropped. I'm so happy. And now I don't have it anymore. Because I had to get my 20 minutes back. Colossus armor is the best armor in the game. Commander, Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when you get here. I got boost in the legendary edition. Let's go a little faster. There's the camp. And there's the nose of the Normandy up on the right. So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? 
I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. Is he here? Have you seen him? No, but his Geth are everywhere and we've intercepted some comms referring to Saren. This is his facility, there's no doubt about that. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the Genophage. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army. He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. Don't worry about it, Captain. I do worry. That's why I'm still alive. Why don't you go talk to the Krogan? My men and I need some time to come up with a new plan of attack. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. He looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. Just drop it. He'll be fine. If you say so. But I'm gonna keep my eye on him, if it's all the same to you. I don't like the way Rex is behaving. We got the echo screeching by in the background. Can I talk to you? No. It's a big no. I can talk to you, though. I've been on this mission far too long. My brood won't even recognize me. I'm not with you wearing that helmet. No one can. The upcoming battle frightens me, but I know Saren must be stopped. Phoenix, Phoenix. Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. For anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Let me Kira. see what you have. What little there is. This guy had a crazy... Oh, he doesn't have it this time. <sighs> he had a crazy good best uh, Omni tool in the game. It's like a Nexus 10. It's incredible. It's completely full in two out of its three stats. The mission will succeed. The captain will not have it any other way. If we fail, no one will hear of this. If we succeed, same result. I just need a few more minutes with my men. But you're not with the mercy standard. We better succeed, human. We still feel the toll of the Krogan Rebellion. Some kind of codex entry there. I am worried that Rex's allegiance to you may be waning. It's all right, babe. You let me handle this. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the Genophage, we can't destroy it. This has to be done. Saren is the enemy, not me. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. I don't care what your personal feelings are. This base gets destroyed. Don't push me, Shepard. I followed you because I wanted to fight for something more than credits. If you can't give me a better reason than this to destroy the hopes of my people, then I'm done with you. All you need to know is that I'm giving you an order to fall in line. So that's it. All this time and that's all I get from you. 
How can you not see what this means to the Krogan? This base can't be destroyed. I won't allow it. Saren doesn't care about these Krogan. They're tools, puppets. He'll destroy them as soon as they're no longer useful to him. Is that what you want for your people? No. We were tools for the Council once. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Noted. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. Good. I prefer a straight fight anyway. It won't be that simple. We just don't have the numbers to meet them head on. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. I just hope you survive long enough to be useful. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Alenko, you're with the Captain. Keep it simple. Understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything foolish while I'm gone, Ash. And that goes for you too, Commander. We'll be fine, LT. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Is there something you wanted to say, Caden? It's just weird going under someone else's command. I've got so used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry so much. We'll see you on the other side. I know, I, um... I just wanted to say that it's been an honor serving with you, Commander. It's a dangerous situation. Keep your eyes open and be ready for anything. You bet, Commander. I should have selected more investigations. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends. But the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. The silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. 
We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Shadow is on the ground. Shadow is on the ground. Lieutenant Alenko with AE Corps. Monovite, the Edwards. Move. Fire is coordinated on Monovite. Hmm. These really just slow your rate of fire down like that much. You can't reach the gas turrets! They're out of range! Like this just feels like a downgrade. Maybe not. That felt like that went down pretty quickly. Huh. Hit him with that rocket, that's funny. That was nice. Uh, triangulation tower. Communications disrupted. Okay, maybe snowblind rounds aren't as bad as I thought. I feel like they hit really hard. Something scrambled, they're targeting. We've got a shot. Lieutenant Alenko, take the heat off Man of I. Sniper rifle, get out that shotgun I equipped you with. Maybe, no, with this button, sledgehammer, pulse rifle. Maybe this. The kinetic for the mobile accuracy. Oh, I want to go to ten. Heck yeah. Oh, I've gone backwards. This world is beautiful. Too bad it's been contaminated by Saren and his death. They're calling sat strikes. Jado, watch for comm stations. Alenko, can you see anything? something. Scram reel 10. We're getting pounded! Bunker up before the aircraft return! Not that far back. It was an auto We're getting like, pounded! 
Bunker up before the aircraft return. I usually can survive a single rocket. The barrier was up and everything. That's really strange. Unless it did direct health damage. Which it can do. Sure, some attacks can do, but I didn't think rockets did. So, Alright, my barrier's up. Unlocked. Combat armor. Advanced shield boost. Uh, more of nothing. Snowblind scram rail. Is this snowblind 10? Okay. Just go back this way, it's faster. Oh, that is that button. Alright. Threat has not materialized. We may be getting some help from Shadow. Uh, warp. Wasn't even swinging at me. You kidding? All right, here we go. I'm just gonna. The problem is these guys don't ever like come out. Like, they keep taking cover, and these Krogan regenerate. Ah, almost had him. Okay, got one down. Get him! Ah, damn it! All right, that's two. Thing on. Okay, lift is back up. Now that's what I need for this guy. Just so lift him, and then I need to chuck him. And he just dies. Oh, and then he just dies. Okay, make sure I'm recording. That's him. Shadow team must be getting close. Hold the line, men. Hold the line. I have never died this much here. <laughs> Some truly, like, random things. I've, I've never seen a melee attack going for another squad mate uh, that cleaves me. Oh. So these are Solarians. You'll notice that we, uh supposed to be like on the same team as these guys and but these Solarians are shooting us <clears throat> and what we know is that Kira has, he said he lost uh, nearly half his men um, to this place so is that medical exoskeleton Oh, it's reduction in power cooldown. Hmm. Okay, I was gonna see if I wanted to replace it, but I don't think so. We've got access to base security. We can cut the alarms from here. Maybe even trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. Cipher 
for tool worth anything? No. It's garbage. Damn. Hmm. Don't do the forest, actually. Okay. Dog shit. Captured Solarian. Captured Solarian. Captured Solarian. What do you want? I told you everything. I... Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Nobody's going anywhere till I get some answers. Private Maino Savat of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment STG, man. Captured while on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, man. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I'd have said anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? What did they do to you, soldier? Experiments, but I don't know what for. The effect of incessant whispering on my shortening temper? Who knows? I just need out. Something's not right here, Shepard. If we don't let him out, he's as good as dead. We have to do something. Yes, leaving me here would be bad. Very bad. It's too small and the noise just won't go away. Whispering is loud, you know? I need to get out. Let me out. Set him free. He could help us. Yes, sir. You'll find I am very good at following orders. I should be. I hear them over and over. Why are they repeated when they are so simple? So damn simple! I gave him a gun in his cell. Oh no, there's more. Can I, can I, can I make contact with a the melee? There we go. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, is there anything I click over here? This place is an abomination. Saren's research must be destroyed. Saren needs to pay for what he's done to my people. That's right, Rex. That's the right, uh... Give a little ground, Lieutenant. We don't want them to bunker up. Draw them out. Well, you're not a Gath, and you're not wearing a lab coat. I guess I'm glad to see you. Lieutenant Gonto Imnes of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during recon. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? The transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. I see. Then you must be the infiltration team. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was altered, indoctrinated. He knew about the breeding grounds. But the indoctrination is a greater threat, and far more horrifying. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I envy them. Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination. Symptoms, progress. Saren uses it to control his people, but I don't think he fully understands it. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. Turned them into empty husks. I can't end up like that. Please, let me out. I'm opening your cell, but then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. These look docile. Their minds are gone. 
Now, oh, this is no way to treat a prisoner. Kill them, sure, but to leave them like this. Open the doors. Give them a chance to outrun the blast. Are you sure, Shepard? At best, they might hurt themselves. If there is any sense left in them, they might be directed to harm us. Let them out. They won't hurt us. Very well. At least the blast will eventually end it. It calls, and I must follow. I am only what it wants me to be. It never sleeps. <laughs> it is emptiness. We are nothing before them. There will be nothing but the voice. The voice brings endless night. The voice is always with me, whispering. And I get... It's sideways moonwalk, Shepard, now. Maybe I can get rid of it. Pull out my gun. There we go. Nope. Didn't fix it. Shoot. That was annoying. At some point, it's got to break, right? Hey, there we go. Something hit me hard. Uh, oh, she just doesn't go down, does she? Oh. What is going on here? Where are the guards? Where is Sarah? No, stay back. This is important work. This You will not destroy the work we have started. Whoa. Whoa. I can't. Get out of my way. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I wish I could have left him on the elevator. He's still. Okay. Apparently that was the Krogan scientist that had cured the genophage. I was working on these husks. Geth fleet report, hard decryption. According to these files, Geth are planning a massive assault. Siren has given orders at the begin. The Armstrong Nebula. Unity Amp and Phoenix X. Okay. Avenger and Tsunami. Some kind of oh, prodigy. So bad. It's so bad. I mean, have a seven at least. Jeez. You got one of those. Pull down bonus 37. 40. Go ahead, Rex. I use you the most anyway. And you're not dead, so there's that. Red and still let me through? Okay. Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. Let's hear it. Who are you and what do you want? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain too. Give me one reason I should help you. I... I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. 
to control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you wanna make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't... But I'll never... Ah! I like the way you think, Shepard. unique. You've seen a light like that. Why would you need one? You have this gigantic window. I guess it just never rains here. <laughs> just have completely open windows. What a facility. Saren just built this. Look at this. Like, bigger than the Pentagon. Look over here. It's another beacon, like the one on Eden Prime. Another beacon. Why do you guys have your guns out? Now is not the time! I don't have my gun out. Saren needs to pay for what he's done to my people. I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance. Incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am Sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal. The pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. Whatever your plan is, it's gonna fail. I'll make sure of that. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose 
whose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us, letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation, independent, free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine, and machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Commander, we got trouble. Hit me, Joker. That ship Sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. There's nothing we can do here. Idea, Shepard? We'll head for the breeding facility. Time to blow this place to hell. Right, Commander. I'll meet you there. Joker out. Talk about this with Megan while we watch it. The Geth are turning from your position, dear. Yeah, no. Looks like Shadow kicked a sensitive spot. Alenko, head them off. Hold them. Ursa X. Ursa X. Terabad. <laughs> Mantis actually has really good um, damage reduction. How does it look? The same. That's just better. But Tali, that Mantis is good for you. Skeleton 10. There we go. Energized plating 8. 
Your dice bleeding ten. There you go. Now you're much better off. That turret could punch some nasty holes. More gas in the elevator. Good work on the gun, Shadow Team. Now it's our turn. No, we can't save it. Holly would look like us if her suit would change color when she's wearing armor. <laughs> That's it. We need to clear the get and set those charges. Set. Everyone bunker down! Bunker down! I'm going to tear this whole place down. Tell him. I don't know what this is about. Hydroelectric or something? Um... Something's supposed to trigger here. Am I soft locked? Am I, am I soft locked? What the? I'm here on the map. Very weird. So, oh, these are Krogan breeding tanks. Just FYI, that's what those are. Okay, trigger. Trigger now. And go. Do something. Anything? Up here? Come up here? Okay, it like saved. You see that? It, like, did a little savey save. Okay. So, I'm gonna go all the way back here. I'm gonna do a save and load. And hopefully, that'll trigger. Yeah, this is a first. Never had, uh, never been soft locked here. All right, right here. Let's, uh, I can't save. Auto save. Okay, my quick save was more recent. Okay. That turret could punch some nasty holes in the normal. Gosh. Um. 
Mr. Krogan. Come out. Oh, she seems just like glitch back. Behind the wall. Oh god, that's a rocket. Okay, that's it. Good work on the gun, Shadow Team. Now it's our turn. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Any... Okay. Alright. Fingers crossed. Yeah, normally it's weird because like right That's here it. we need to clear the gap and set those charges it's so, like right here there's okay there's these two okay charges set everyone bunker down bunker down Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. There, that didn't happen before. Okay. Now the door is closing. Or is it? Wait a minute. Yeah, I hear the Normandy. Here it is. Okay. Well, that was harder than it should have been. All right, dude, I've never seen before. <laughs> With other guy I've never seen before. <laughs> With Ashley. Bomb is in position. We're all set here. Commander, do you read me? The nuke is almost ready, Lieutenant. Get to the rendezvous point. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Hold tight. We're coming to get you. Negative. Just make sure that nuke is set. We'll hold them as long as we can. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the nuke. Go get them and meet me back here. You keep that nuke safe. <laughs> the nuke safe. All right, Ashley. I don't know why we set it down in the water, but we did. Whoa. Normandy's pulling out? Okay. Very interesting. Warlord. 
Saren needs to pay for what he did your people, yeah, yeah, got it. He's done to my people. are sending in reinforcements. Chief, we just spotted a troop ship inbound to your location. It's already here, and it's bleeding Geth all over the bomb site. Can you hold them off? There's too many! I don't think we can hold them! I'm activating the nuke! What the hell are you doing, Williams? Making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what! It's done, Commander. Go get the Lieutenant and get the hell out of here! Belay that! We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Williams! I'm going to Kaiden. Alenko, radio Joker and tell him to meet us on the AA Tower. Yes, Commander. I-, I... You know it's the right choice, LT. Fight hard, Chief. Die proud. Aye, aye, Commander. You know, it's the right call. Of course it is. <laughs> we don't need an extra space racist. Hmm. I've never seen one there. I didn't realize there was one on this wall right around the corner. A weapons locker. They just got weapons locker all weapons lockers all over the place here. Most of the time I usually send Ashley with the uh, the Solarians, and then Kaiden sets the nuke, and then I go back for Kaiden. But uh, this uh, uh, this uh, combat area is just uh, breath of fresh air. Cause I don't really Commander, you need to move fast. We can't hold these things off much longer. Yeah, uh, Watch uh, the corners. Suppressing fire. We're killing them. We're killing them. We're killing them. That's a Solarium. I'm shooting at. Okay. I think that's all of them. Please don't tell me where. This has been an impressive diversion, Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Solarians were the real threat. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. This isn't complicated. You'll do anything to get power, even joining with the Reapers. You've seen the vision from the beacons, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead, but what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. 
That is my saving grace. The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god, the pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. We must work with the Reapers. Tell me why Sovereign needs the Conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The Conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. Don't you see? You are just a tool. Sovereign is using you. In the end, you'll be tossed aside with all the rest. Do you think you can sway me, Shepard? Do you think I haven't already thought of this? Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. I'm not like you. I'd rather die fighting than live as a slave. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines, and in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would doom our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. I don't know if you can hear that, but the reason he turned around to look away was because the alarm went off. But I've got sound effects so low. All right, everybody, hang on! I think we got a music glitch going on. That music's not supposed to be playing right now. I can't believe that Ash didn't make it. How could we just leave her down there? There was no time. I couldn't save you both. The bomb was about to go off. But why me? Why not her? 
Lieutenant Alenko, I am your commanding officer. I did what I had to do. Don't question my orders. I'm sorry, Commander. You saved my life. I'm grateful for that. But if I'd done my job, we should have been able to save her. We will avenge her. No, we just, we just have to go on. Williams is dead. We can't change that. But if we don't stop Saren, her sacrifice was made in vain. Yes, ma'am. I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. Tell me, your visions, have they changed at all? Do you know where the conduit is now? The vision changed, but it's still not clear. That is unfortunate. I am afraid our only choice is to go to Pharos. Maybe we will find what we need there. I'll let Joker know where we're headed. Dismissed. Commander, there's a comm buoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's real. The Reapers are real. Saren even admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports, the ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. I tried to warn you about Saren. You didn't believe me then, and look how that turned out. I believe you humans have a saying. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Here's another saying. Go to hell. Maybe we were wrong about you, Shepard. Maybe humans are too hot-headed to be specters. Enough! Commander Shepard has performed admirably so far. This discussion is only a minor disagreement. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a specter. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the Spectres. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. Well... So this episode was pretty crucial. It uncovered the secrets of the Reapers. And that Sovereign is not a ship. It is a Reaper. So if you imagined Reapers being small, you know, human or you know, uh, uh, humanoid sized killing machines, they are not. They are the size of cities. <laughs> I think, hold on, let me see if uh, the Codex has anything. Sovereign. Sovereign is the flagship. Oh, here, here we go, hold on. Uh, now I gotta turn the <laughs> sound effects up, because apparently this is considered sound effect and not dialogue. Here we go. Faster than Sovereign is the flagship of the rogue specter Saren. An enormous dreadnought larger than any other ship in any known fleet, it is crewed with both Geth and Krogan. At two kilometers long, its spinal mounted main gun is likely capable of penetrating another dreadnought's kinetic barriers with a single shot. How Saren acquired this incredible warship is unknown. The prevailing opinion is that Sovereign is a Geth construct while others believe it is a Prothean relic. 
Its design, however, hints at a more alien and mysterious origin. The attack on Eden Prime demonstrated Sovereign's ability to generate mass effect fields powerful enough to land on a planetary surface. This implies it has a massive element zero core and the ability to generate staggering amounts of power. So, I mean, this is kind of outdated, but I just wanted to get its size. It's two kilometers long. That's, uh, that's more than a mile, right? Like, that's insane. It would take you, like, 30 minutes to walk. Like, it would take you more than 30, like, you know, if you're going to walk it, it would take you better part of an hour from, like, the tip of its middle appendage here all the way to the crest of its tail. It's crazy. Anyway, let's see, uh... Biotics is the ability of rare individuals to manipulate dark energy. Combat hard suits use a mm. dual layer. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. You know, Novaria to to. is a cool, rocky world. The Systems Alliance is an. Nope. The Citadel is an ancient. Nope. After the Geth secure. Nope. In the early 2160s, the Alliance began aggressive colonization of worlds in the Skillian Verge much to the dismay of the Batarians, who had been developing the region for several decades. In 20... 50... Th though now right extinct, the Asari is. were the first species to discover the Citadel. I could swear when... in this game you hear, at least, hear about um, the Collectors, like they get mentioned. All right, next, uh, find the conduit before Sovereign does. Get to Pharos. Got some, uh... Oh, I gotta go back and do Werner, Conrad Werner. We'll do that real quick. No, 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 no. We'll save that for next episode. All right, thanks for watching.